Okay, today I'm going to present a lesson on break even analysis. So here's the lesson starts. Okay, Lily, mm -hmm. quick question. Yeah. Uh, if I want to run a Chinese restaurant in Hobart, so what kind of things will make my business viable? So do, first thing you should know is viable. Do you know viable? I guess. Um make it work yes make it work so in order to make my business viable what kind of things do i have to pay attention to to run a restaurant mm -hmm. a place yes place and uh, the rental yes very good the rental any other things i should pay attention to Chairs, tables. Yes, chairs, tables, and all these kind of things, including the the electricity, the water, and something like that. It's called. So these kind of things that have, that I have to pay, right? Yeah. So to run a business mm -hmm. or a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So in the worksheets that I give you. There are seven terminologies for break-even analysis. So for now, I'm not talk. I'm not telling you about the break-even analysis it's about, but I'm trying to give you some terminologies here: hmm. cost, fixed cost, variable cost, revenue, profit, break-even point. So for now, the rental, the utility, and these all kind of things is something that I have to pay. Yeah. So you can choose one terminology as you like, or you think which it best suits this kind of situation here. Cost. Yes, very good. Cost. That means something I have to give out, right? Mm -hmm. And pay attention to these kind of things. For example, I have to sell some dishes to make my business viable, right? Mm -hmm. So the rental, the utility, and all the wages doesn't really relate to the amount of dishes that I sell. Does it make sense? Yeah. So we can call this kind of cost a fixed cost. So it means no matter how many dishes I sell, I still have to pay these kind of things. Or if I don't sell one dish, I still have to pay this. Right? So yeah. that is the fixed cost. So let's just make up a $150 as a fixed cost. Okay? On your sheet, write down $150 as your fixed cost sheet. Uh, in your per sheet. week? Yes, per week, of course. And then, since we do have a fixed cost, which is not related to the amount of dishes, so how about a kind of cost that relates to the amount of dishes. For example, like the ingredients, because materials. Yes, materials, the rice. ingredients, yes, rice. So, any terminologies that you can find here? I guess that is the only one with variable cost to confuse. Yes, variable cost. I couldn't find another type of cost. Well, this kind of cost kind of means that if I want to have a joint special fried rice here, so I have to use the rice, I have to use the meat and any other things. So let's say I will spend $7 <coughs> per dish as the special fried rice. So that means the $7 includes the ingredients. Yeah the materials, yeah. and all these kind of things. Okay. And variable cost is depends on the number of the dish that we sell. Okay, what, does it make sense? What does it mean? For example, if I uh, make 12 dishes, that means the variable cost is 12 plus uh, times 7. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Because yeah. every dish I make, I will spend seven dollars mm -hmm. as the ingredients and materials, things like that. Yeah. Making sense? Yeah. Okay, very good. <clears throat> the cost here in total is the fixed cost plus variable cost. Mm -hmm. 
Does it make sense? Okay, so, so far, these are the money that I have to pay, I have to spend. So how about I, the money I can gain by running a business? Okay, so first thing that you went to a restaurant is you look at the menu, and on the menu, there should be some price, right? Yeah, numbers. So, so for example, my special fried rice cost twelve dollars. Expensive. Yeah, a kind of twelve dollars. So by every selling every dish, then I gain twelve dollars. Does it make sense? So these are the money that I can gain, right? So in these, the terminology goes for. Revenue. Yes, the revenue. Revenue. Revenue means the money that you gain by selling the <clears throat> dishes. Okay? So these are the two key terminologies that we had so far. Revenue and the cost. Hmm. So we assume, because we're trying to figure out how many dishes I have to sell to make a profit, so let's say I can make X wow. dishes. So far, I think uh, we have already learned the linear model. So we can make an equation here. The first one, cost. So what is the fixed cost? One five zero. Yeah, one <clears throat> five zero. Plus variable cost. What is the variable cost? Seven x. Yes, seven x. And then the revenue. Mm. How many? How much money I gain from <clears throat> studying the dishes? Is so that equation in? Oh uh, no no no! It's a seven x. A seven times twelve. Seven times twelve. That is the variable. The fixed cost. Well, revenue means the money you gain, right? Oh. So the money. So the amount of dishes that I sell, for example, X, I say, yeah. so I sell it at a price of 12. Mm. So should it be 12X X. in total? Mm. Okay. That's very good. So far, we have the cost and revenue here. Mm. So you have known the graphs of the linear model. So now I want you on your worksheets to draw the two graphs of these two uh, equations here. Can you do that? I'll give you two minutes, uh, two to three minutes to do it. X and Y? Yes, the graph. Mm. I'll just put it here. The Y intersection here in this graph, what does it mean? Mm. Fixed cost. Yes, fixed cost because you can see from here, right? Yeah. The 150 <clears throat> is the fixed cost here. Yeah. So these two are the graphs for different equations here. Yeah. So now I'm going to put these two graphs to. Okay, so now I've just combined these two graphs as one and then. There should be an intersection here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the intersection here, what does it really mean, the intersection here? That means the two equations equals the same. Equals. Oh. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing I want to do is to find out equations here. And then I'm going to ask you what does this point really means? Mm, you what does just, this you point just mentioned that the two equations equal at that point, I guess. Mm, zero. Zero. Okay, so first, you can see from here, these two lines intersect here. Mm -hmm. And then they have the same y, right? Yeah. Which means the equals. They are equals. <clears throat> so what does this mean? Cost equals revenue. Mm. Does it mean 
that your revenue can cover your costs, they are at the, they are same. Yes, they are same. So does that mean that I can make money of it? No, I think it should be zero. Yes, zero. That means I don't make any money. Also, I don't lose any money. Mm -hmm. That is what we call the break-even point. Oh. Break-even point means when cost equals revenue. <coughs> and also, here is another terminology here, profit. Mm -hmm. So how about profit? Do I have anything related to profit? So far, we don't have. Yes, but I will introduce you there. Revenue minus cost. So the money that I gain minus the money that I pay mm -hmm. is the money finally I gain, right? Yeah. So if the profit is larger than zero, that means what? We can make money. Yes, we can make money. According to the path, the graph here, if we sell more than dishes here, yeah. that means the revenue exceeds glass. Yes, exceeds. And that means here are the profits that you can make by doing it. Right? Yeah. So according to the graphs, we can interfere or we can know roughly about the dishes that we can sell to make our break even. Mm -hmm. But also we can sell, solve it in another way, algebraically. Right? We know the two equations here. Mm -hmm. So we put cost equals revenue. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So we will solve this equation here. Mm. Can you do that? 30. Oh, very good. X equals 30. What does 30 mean? Here. I mean 30 dishes that you need to sell in order to... Yes. So basically it means that if I sell more than 30 dishes, I will make a profit. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. If I sell less than 30 dishes, then I will lose money. Lose money. Okay. This is how we call a break-even analysis. Okay, are you clear? I guess so. Yes. So then I will give you one video. So after you watch this video, I think you have a more deeper understanding about the break-even analysis. So Lily, um, can you tell me what we have learned today? Hmm, a few of um, terminologies. Terminologies, yes, yeah. about the fixed cost, cost about the variable cost, variable cost and profit, about the revenue and break profit. Even point. Yes, break-even point here. Yeah. So actually, break even point here means the point that will cost equals revenue. Mm, zero. Yes. No, no, no. I mean, oh yeah, no. The cost equals revenue, or you can say well, revenue minus cost equals zero. That yeah. means when profit is zero, that means that break even point. Mm. Get it? Yeah. So if we go this way, then we make money. If we go that way, we lose money. Yeah, if the revenue, the product of the revenue minus the cost bigger than zero means you make money. Yes. Otherwise, you maybe lose money. Yes, of course. And basically, we can use the graphs to help us understand more about it. And then, let's just make a summary of a, today's lesson. Break-even analysis just a kind of helps you to build up your business plan and even before the business plan you can decide whether it is pursuing or not mm -hmm. okay it is worth pursuing or not so in my case i have to do first about how many dishes i have to sell per week so that i can make money because businessmen doesn't make doesn't do the business that they lost money 
Okay. Yeah. So this is how we use the break-even analysis to solve the real day life problem. And now we'll just give you a worksheet for you to practice about the break-even analysis. Okay. Yeah.